If I can keep my head held high enough, I'll just be love and watch the smiles come. Bring my spirits up. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still know that I'm blessed. Welcome to my kitchen, welcome to my music. It's been a minute. I've been celebrating the verdict for the Kristen Smart trial. Paul Flores is guilty of first degree murder. But anyway, back to cooking. So I did what they call the harvest box and I got $20 of all kinds of great organic healthy vegetables from Halcyon Farms here. And this Chinese eggplant was part of it. And I'm not a big eggplant fan, but I did find a stir fry recipe that I variated. And basically we're gonna chop these up, we're gonna brine them, and then we're gonna coat them in cornstarch and cook them on a baking sheet first. And on the side we're gonna be doing the sauce with sweet pepper, ginger, garlic, soy, green onion, sweetener, vinegar, sesame seeds, and lime. And that gets cooked in oil. And then once everything's cooked, you combine them and coat them and just cook them for a few minutes. So that's what we're doing. We got all the ingredients listed. The fresh ginger in here. I actually keep the ginger in the freezer and then I just um, use the cheese grater too. And then we had some fresh break vegan bread that we bought at a market the other day so we're just gonna have that on the side. Oh yeah and I'm adding sesame seeds to this. The sweetener was also part of it. I think I did read that off. All right. Some people might not know brining. We used to do it with our turkey for Thanksgiving when we did eat um, a turkey. But you take, typically it'll be kosher salt, but you basically make a brine with the salt in the water. And it said that really brings a flavor into this uh, Chinese eggplant. I have this on a cassette, I think. All right, so we're gonna put all the, put it all in there to brine. Brines for 15 minutes in this case. When you do a turkey, it brines like for a few days. It actually really does hold the juice in. Like I said, we don't do turkeys anymore, but if I was giving a turkey tip, that's a good one. And then we would bake it in the um, the cooking baking bags. So anyway, that's gonna brine now. It'll be back. Loving the tunes. It's on the wall. One of my favorite parts. <laughs> Good, good music tonight. And then I'm doing rice, just um, brown rice. It is in the rice cooker. So the stir fry stuff is gonna go over rice. And I'm adding some other veggies, just throwing them in because I need to get them used up. So still working on it, enjoying the music. All right, it's been 15 minutes, so I'm gonna drain this out. And then it says you dry it before you coat it with the cornstarch on all sides. Okay. It's been brining, as you know. And then we're going to coat it on the cornstarch, and that gets put on a baking sheet at 425 for 20 minutes while you're making the other sauce on the side. So that's what we're working towards. Loving the music. I usually put my um, onion and garlic in first once the pan is heated, and then I'll add the other things along the way. Love this song. I also always um, use essential oil and herb infused cooking oil that I make myself. The holidays are coming, so I need to make some more this year. Not sure if I'm gonna do my craft videos this year or not. I've been pretty busy. But i trying to do some of the food ones when I'm making new things. By the way, this is a brand new recipe I'm making tonight if I didn't say that already. Until I kind of work backwards, I get the item and then I figure out what I'm gonna make. It's fun. I'm also curious with food. I'll be back, enjoying the music. All right, that's what cooking down. Now we're gonna add just some basic seasoning. I like to do black pepper and everything. You know that, guys. Black pepper. And then it does require a squeeze of lime. 
going to add the green onion, which we grow here in our own container gardens. I'm going to add some um, sesame seeds. Not too many, you know, just to... quite good. Now we do a splash of white wine vinegar. The vinegar, the vinegar was up to you. That's what I chose. It does call for a little bit of sweetener. I'm gonna we like to use this um, monk fruit sweetener. I'm gonna add sprinkle some of that in. And then after that cooks a little bit, I'm gonna do a little bit of salt and soy. So I'll be back. All right. So I'm gonna mix this up in a minute, and it's halfway on the eggplant, so I'm going to flip that and put it back in for 10 more minutes. Yes, Ozzy. I've seen him in concert. He's awesome. Okay, so this is so fragrant and colorful and delicious. I'm so excited. And then I realized like all that extra uh, cornstarch is kind of on the pan. That will help thicken the sauce once you put it all in for coating. So it smells so yum. I'm excited. And I love the music. The rice cooker just finished. I'm about to put the eggplant in with the sauce. This is this delicious vegan olive bread that we got in Santa Margarita. It was fresh baked that, baked that day. We got a whole loaf. And then I'm gonna put some vegan butter on that just for the side. And we wanna eat this while the bread is so nice and soft and fresh. Yum. All right, I noticed when I put these in, they're like, there's a little crisp on them. Yum. And it says it helps them from getting soggy. So now we're just gonna coat all this sauce on these. I, I think I'm gonna like this. Like I said before, eggplant's not my favorite thing in the world. The rice is already done, so let me finish stirring this and I'm gonna add it on top of the rice. And the music hasn't let me down tonight. Good, good music. Still good music and success. His, because he likes more. Hers. I did add a little bit more soy to the rice. The sauce thickened up a little more than I wanted it to. And then, like I said, the vegan olive bread. Can't wait. Yum. If I can keep my head held high enough, I'll just be love and watch the smiles come. Thanks for watching. Bring my spirits up. Don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still know that I'm blessed.